Hello! Happy Thursday. I hope everybody had a great Thursday. And today, I'm going to do a YouTube video that I've been putting off for months. It's a YouTube video that I said, I had in the back of my mind, and I said, you know what, I'll do that video eventually, but I never got to it, and today, I'm actually going to do the video on this past relationship I had and why it was horrible and also this other guy who I think I mentioned him in another video but you know this other guy who liked me and how he was crazy but yeah I'm just I decided I'm gonna do this video because uh, I feel as if a lot of people need to maybe hear this you know I'm not sure like I almost felt like telling this girl a few months ago when uh, she was coming to me with some relationship issues she was having, I almost felt like telling her about this story because it was almost similar. But I ended up not, I haven't really talked about this a lot, but I'm about to talk about it. And now, here it goes. I'm about to tell you about the bad relationship I had in ninth, 10th grade year and also this creepy guy. I'm about to talk about it right now. <sighs> I haven't eaten breakfast yet because I already told you if I go eat my eggs I'm not gonna do anything else but let's get this started all right so I was we were about we were 14 15 I'm trying to remember okay this was ninth grade year this was ninth grade year yeah and we started on I think we started dating maybe December or something and then we December or January February March, April. no it wasn't December I don't know when we started dating but we I, all I know is that we dated six months me and this other guy I'm not gonna put out his name because that's just wrong but okay this was ninth grade year and I remember him telling me that he liked me he really didn't but I guess he just liked my butt or something because you know it's big so he told me he liked me or something he said he wanted to go out with me and I guess I must have said yeah so we started going out but he told me that he didn't want to really he didn't want to he didn't want the relationship to kind of be public like you know me and Michael for example a good relationship this is me and Michael you know how his friends know that we're dating and my friends know that we're dating and you know the family knows that we're dating a lot of people know that we're dating but you know <clears throat> back in the day me and this other guy you know he was like let's not tell anybody because he said when people know all of your business you know they'll mess up your relationship and that is true but it doesn't mean that we still can't inform people you know that just means don't tell them all of our business but we can inform people that we're dating so that was red flag number one that I didn't catch, but you know, it's okay. He wanted to, he, we kept it in private a lot. And you know, when you're dating and stuff, you're going to kiss, but he didn't, he never kissed me like in public. It would always be in private. Like he didn't want anybody else to see it. It would be between the buses, you know, when nobody else was around there, he'd tell me to get out to the buses early so we could kiss so nobody would see us. And then... We would always get on the bus, go hide behind the seats, and kiss there. My bus driver was actually really cool about that. <laughs> she knew, but you know, she didn't say anything. And we would kiss behind, it would be way in the back of the library, like above this. It would be like some sort of big science board that would be right there. We would kiss behind that. And then, while we were kissing, and I noticed this, my eye is twitching. Oh, <sighs> While we were kissing, um, I noticed... Like, you, do you know when you're kissing somebody, like, maybe not everybody can relate to me, but, like, one day you'll be kissing somebody, and, like, you'll have your eyes open a little bit, like, you'll just be kind of looking at them, like, me and Michael would do that to be silly, but I kind of opened my eyes a little bit, and I saw that his eyes were wide open, looking towards the, looking towards the entrance of the library as if he's on lookout, like, if somebody comes, he's pulling away, which I think, I remember this clearly now, see, it's gonna start coming back to me as I talk, um, I remember one day we were walking out the library and then this other girl who I was actually friends with because we were both kind of victims in this she was really cool and I lost her contact information actually but uh, this other girl walks in and I almost said his name uh, <laughs> this other guy he just we're walking like this 
and when this other girl walks in, he zooms and goes like that. Like it was just, I, I was like, that was red flag number two. Like he's obviously, oh my goodness, cheated on me with that girl, which he was, but it was absolutely unbelievable. I was like, where are you going? Uh, uh, um, another thing he did is, I told him this was kind of a a fad or something when in the ninth, ninth grade year of high school, I felt like this was kind of like the end thing. Everybody wanted to be Japanese or something. Like, there's nothing wrong with being African American, you know what I'm saying? Or just, like, there's nothing wrong with your black heritage. But everybody wants to be Japanese. I had the blackest of the black girl. Like, it was just, she was black. Telling me she was Japanese. And then she lifted up her glasses and was like, Can you tell my eyes are slanted? I was like, No, you got pretty big round eyes. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, it was like ninth grade year of high school. Everybody wanted to be Japanese. And he lied about being Japanese. And he clearly was not. And how he fooled all of us, it was just absolutely. I must have been some sort of blinded by this crush or something because he was clearly not Japanese. He had round eyes, brown skin, kinky hair. You are black. You're not Japanese. And whenever somebody would tell him that he wasn't Japanese, he would get upset. So now that I'm looking back on this, it's like, was I dating some sort of crazy guy? Because this is a little bit weird. Like, you're not Japanese, and you get upset whenever somebody tells you that you're not Japanese. You're not Japanese. There's nothing wrong with being black and having the really curly hair. What's wrong with that? Japanese people are awesome too, but you don't have to, you know, you're weird. And he lied about living there and he said his mom was his adoptive mom or stepmom or whatever it was. It was a whole entire backstory that he just lied about. It was one big humongous lie. And it was just unbelievable how I believed that. Like, what in the world? I... Seriously, nice great Alexis, you were falling for all that. He clearly not Japanese. He doesn't even have any sort of accent. Now was he I'm not sure if he was trying to say he was Japanese like he was he's from Japan or I think he was actually trying to say he was Japanese like the race like the Asian race that's what he was trying to say he was which he wasn't a little bit crazy but that eventually after we broke up like in the upper class in years he kind of died off on that he, he didn't he wasn't Japanese anymore after that <laughs> it was funny but yeah crazy um I already told you about how he, whenever we were in public, he wanted, he, he didn't know me in public basically. It was funny because, like, once you get off your school bus, you come into the gymnasium or you may go into the cafeteria, you come in there and you sit down until your, until the bell dismisses you to your classes. And I would be sitting right there, looking all nice, wait, I said his name, I had to cut that part out. And then, I, <laughs> and then, I'll be sitting right there, looking all nice. Waiting for this guy to come, you know, sit down to me, sit down next to me, you know, be like, hi, how are you, girlfriend, how are you doing? He would look at me, and he would go right over to his friends. It's like, he did not know me in public, and that was depressing, almost. It was like, dang. I remember crying one day, because I was like, is? I just said his name again. I remember crying one day, because I was like, yeah, this guy, he must be cheating on me, which he was, but, you know. It was a bumpy ninth grade year. Um, I remember one other day he said that we were going to go on a date. And my mom talked to his mom and everything. They said we were going to go on this date. And then on the day that we were supposed to be leaving, he doesn't show up. And I'm sitting there by the window like, where is this guy? And then my mom said he just stood me up. And I was like, oh, okay, that's okay. So then me and my mom ended up going somewhere, but you know. Dang, you're not gonna show up to the date. I mean, oh man, I'm not even getting angry over it again. It's just, you know, with a good experience, it was a good experience. Like, you're gonna have to go through one or two or three or four bad relationships in order to get to that good one. So, it was good, good, I guess. What's the word? It was a good experience, yeah. Um,. I already told you how he was cheating on me and it was really obvious and then finally when I said uh we should just break up because I'm really not feeling any feelings toward you anymore and you're kind of just no when I said yeah let's break up 
he was like, okay, and he was totally cool with it. So, yeah, that relationship was a waste of time, meant nothing. But like I said, good experience. And, you know, let's see, it was, you, you just have to go through the bad relationships before you get to the good ones. That's all I could say. But, yeah, I have another story about another guy who I never went out with him. But he just liked me. And I'm going to talk about this crazy guy here in a minute. Just, I'm going to go eat my eggs really quick, and then I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. So, something I forgot to say at the end of that last segment over there was, um, he, there's this other girl who kind of was chasing after him a little bit, kind of had the crush on him, and, uh, I was friends with her. But I'm not sure if she's still chasing after him or if they're dating now. But I just wanted to give a little bit of words of encouragement. If by any chance this girl is watching this video. And if that guy is watching this video. Uh, don't make it obvious that I'm talking about you. You know, you probably, if you, not many people are going to know who you guys are. So... You know, let's keep that on the down low. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I wish you guys the best. I really do. Because I'm not still upset over what I was talking about. I got Michael. Been dating him for over two years. You know, this is this is the now. That was the then. But, you know, I do wish you guys the best. And I hope that you are not still treating girls like that. And that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say to that. So, that's the end of that. Okay, now on to the second guy's story. Let me get something straight before I say anything else. This second guy that I'm about to talk about was not my boyfriend. He had a crush on me. I did not have any feelings for him at all. He was not attractive. Just nothing about him I liked. Absolutely nothing. So he liked me. But that's where it ended. Now that we got that out the way, let me talk about him. Okay. We met at summer camp. I don't know how old we were, but I just know we met at summer camp. And he had a crush on my other friend at camp. Her name was, I'm not gonna give her name out, but if you're watching, hi. Uh, she had a crush on my, he had a crush on my other friend at summer camp, but she shut that down right then and there. She was like, no, stop it, go away. Which is what I should have done, but I wasn't trying to be mean or anything. I was just, you know, I was just trying to be nice, you know, I mean, like, I was like, no, no thanks, you know, I wasn't trying to shut, shut him down the way that she did, but I'm starting to think that maybe I should have, but yeah, uh, he liked me for whatever reason, probably because I had a nice butt too, but, um, he would kind of, you know, whenever this one day I was riding my bike with Michael and I took a picture of like the scenery. Cause I was like, oh, what a nice day for a bike ride, you know, just posted it. And then he said, oh, we live in the same neighborhood, maybe we can meet up. Like, he would do things like that. Like, he would always ask to go out here and there, always be asking to meet up, always asking for this, that, and the other. It's like, leave me alone. No, 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 no. Stop asking me to go places. And then, like, you think that he'd get the hint after 20 times when I say no, no, no. You think he'd get the hint? But... It's like, he never got it. And his friend added me on Facebook, and I still have him on Facebook too, his friend. I have him on Facebook and Instagram, and I see him up at the campus I go to. But this isn't about his friend, this is about this crazy guy. Um, on Facebook, back when I used to have him on Facebook, he would always write statuses, like just trying to sound all, all smart. Like, you know those people who try to sound smarter than what they are? They're using all these big words, and they're just trying to sound smart. And that really pisses me off when people like are trying to sound smart like you don't sound smart when you do that can you just speak like you don't have to like sprinkle all this grandiose language on top of everything just speak that really pisses me off and even when michael does it sometimes when michael tries to sound smart i have to shut him down because i'm like michael just talk to me you don't have to throw in that you know fancy language because it's just uh, it's annoying just just speak like a person but yeah, all of his Facebook statuses would be sounding all smart, smart, and scientific, and I think in one of his statuses, or something, I learned that he was an atheist. So that just kind of cut the relationship off right there, because it's like, okay, so I'm trying to follow the Lord, and you're not. So if you're not trying to follow the Lord, then there can be no relationship between us at all. 
I don't, I mean, I mean, I respect other people's beliefs and everything. I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, become Christian. I'm not going, I'm not going to do all that. If you're an atheist and you're just an atheist, but, you know, I'm not going to date you if you're not trying to go on the same path as a man. You know, does that make any sense? I'm sorry if it doesn't, but that just kind of cut it off right there. Because I have atheist friends, but, you know, if, if you're going to date me, you got to be going in the same direction as me, kind of. We can't be going like this. But, yeah. Um, his statuses were a little bit annoying. He would be sound, sounding all just trying to be smart too much. I learned that he was an atheist on one of the statuses. <sighs> so I was like, okay. No. He, um... He was very argumentative. Like, if he writes these smart alecky, smart alecky statuses or something like that, trying to sound all smart, and someone comments going against him, it's like this guy, he would always, like, he would always try to argue his point, and then he would always, he was so pressed to be right. And that's another thing, another reason why we couldn't have dated, because, like, you can't always be right and that goes for women too you can't always be right if you're that kind of person with that kind of personality you know just putting others down all the time and basically thinking that you're the higher person or just always trying to put others you know always trying to argue or something then i can't you know have a relationship with you because we're always going to be arguing but it's like it was just madness it's like he always had to be right about everything and like he wasn't always right but it's like he always had to be right, and I got annoying, so I was like, there you go, another reason why we can never date. <laughs> he just kept giving me reasons. And then on another another day, I remember, like, I would post selfies. I don't post near as many selfies as I used to. And a matter of fact, I think I have a Facebook page. One of my old Facebook accounts is just all selfies of me, and I need to go delete that Facebook, but I don't want to. It's like it has, it's like it's a piece of me or something, but, um... I would post a selfie and he would comment saying either beautiful or pretty and you know that's really sweet but I felt kind of weird about it like okay stop commenting on my pictures please you can like them just don't comment go ahead and like just no comment and then like I think my, my goal uh you know kind of commented on that one day like you know hey cut it out please you know because you know, if some girl was on his pictures talk about how cute he looks or, you know, I'd be feeling a little bit weird about that too. So we were basically like, hey, you know, chill out a little bit. And then this guy was arguing with him and stuff like, okay, that cut it off right there. I think that, think that was when it cut off the friendship. Uh, Cause you're not going to disrespect me and argue with my boyfriend like that. And he was calling him a kid, calling him a kid. Okay. So this guy was older than me. He's probably like. I'm 18, it's probably like 19, 20 ish up there. But, you know, we're not that much younger than you. And I think we all were younger at the time, but we were all kids. So, who did he have the right to call Michael a kid? Like, what in the world? See, this is what I'm saying. He thinks he's above everybody else. See, that's ugh. And then one other day, I think this was like maybe that same week or something, he came to my messages and asked me if I wanted to go to the movies. After that argument with Michael, he comes to my messages and asks me out to the movies. And I was, I had told him no dates, no outings with just me and you. I cannot do that. I am dating Michael. If I am dating Michael, I cannot go on a date with you. Like, I can't do that. See, this is the point. This is what I was saying. He's not as smart as he seems. It was just, ugh. Like, and then he came to my messages, asked me that I want to go to the movies with him. And it's like, if I am dating Michael, why would I? <sighs> and I think from that day on, that day was when I blocked him on Facebook. And then he sent me a nice little message, like, after I had blocked him. Like, see, that's, a, that's another sign that he's not smart. He sent me a message after I blocked him, basically calling me immature and saying that he wanted nothing to do with me. And I was like, finally. But, um... Yeah, don't you know that if somebody blocks you and you send them a message, they're not going to get it? Like, he sent me a message on such and such a year, and I literally read it exactly a year later. Like, if he would have sent it to me on September 12th, I read it on September 12th of that next year. I did not get that message for a year because I blocked him, so I didn't get his messages. And it was funny. But you know what I should have done? All those times when he was asking me out, I should have showed up. 
I should have showed up and invited Michael right with me. It would have been really funny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's about that guy. Crazy. And I'm going to be going away to college next year, and Michael's going to be going away to his college, so we're going to be separate there for a few months. We're still going to be dating, but we're going to be separate. And I'm not putting up with this again. If I tell you no, because I have a boyfriend, I don't care if he's miles away, if I tell you no, I'm not going to go out on a date with you, I'm not going to go here or here or here, because I have a boyfriend, you need to respect that. And you're not respecting that, I'm going to shut you down just like what my other friend did up, up at the front. Because that's absolutely ridiculous, that was so annoying. And he was subscribed to me on YouTube, but he unsubscribed, and I was like, yes, now I can do this video. So, if you're watching, then hi, thanks for giving me the view. And hopefully you've kind of doubted you know, dimmed it down a little bit with your behavior because it was absolutely crazy in the past. But you know, that's the past. We can put that behind us. It's okay. But, um, let's see. That's just about it. That's just about it about my crazy relationships. I did not, I put, I, I told you I put off this video for a long time, but I finally got it off my chest and I feel really good about it. I put my gun back in my mouth. Okay. Thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys in another one.